Hello, and welcome to my virtual trip of Haiti. To start us off, we have the Bassine Blue, which is a series of turquoise pools located outside the town of Jasmel. If you were to go there, you'd see beautiful water, cool rocks, as well as exotic plants. Legend has it that water nymphs live in the caves and pools, but disappear at the sound of footsteps. This is very significant because it provides some of Haiti's most valuable minerals. The Haiti Cultural Tour is a large tour around Haiti. The tour guides will take you all over Haiti during this tour. In this tour, visitors will try new foods, learn about Haiti's culture, and stop by some of the most famous destinations. Things that will be seen are the view in Haiti and some famous art. Next on the checklist is the Citadel, which is a fortress that was built in 1820 because of Haiti's independence movement versus France. This fortress is located in northern Haiti and is 3,000 feet above sea level, as well as it being 108,000 square feet. It is a long hike up the mountain, but it's totally worth it when you feast your eyes on this 200-year-old fortress. This fortress was built for Henry Cristo, who was a key leader in Haiti's independence movement from France. This landmark is significant to Haiti because... People show much respect for it. Why? It's because it led Haiti through the independence movement versus France. Not to mention, it's the biggest fortress in North America. Next up, we have the Orger van Brom Museum. This museum has very important art in it, which is located on the western side of Haiti. Inside the museum, you will see historic figures and art. This is the most famous art in here. This is significant because it holds Haiti's most valuable and most expensive art that was ever made in the country's history. Saat Mothrin is the largest waterfall in Haiti. It is located in Sud Haiti, which as you can see, is the far west and bottom of Haiti. If you went to see Saat Mothrin, you would see a large 90-foot waterfall, exotic plants and animals, as well as birds, and its beautiful water. This is significant because it also provides some of Haiti's water. The final destination is the ruins of Notre Dame Cathedral, which is the iconic Roman Catholic Church in Haiti. These ruins are located in the west side of Haiti. You would see a lot of destructed stone and ruins. The church was built for Joseph Miot, who was killed in the 2010 earthquake. The church represents the Roman Catholic beliefs in Haiti. Thank you so much for watching my virtual trip in Haiti. I hope you learned something. Bye!